more boring than an archaeological excavation in the jungle of South America. Monotonous work, heat, and mosquitoes the size of sparrows. But sometimes something crazy happens that turns everything upside down. That is exactly what happened to me, an archaeology student, and my friends. Vincenzo, cheery and good-natured. And Becky, merry and kind. It all started one evening when I came to Professor Ashton Skye's tent and noticed a strange item in his hands. The sleep before the sunrise is especially deep, so nobody heard the armed men silently come out of the jungle to surround the archaeologist's camp and the village. When a black helicopter appeared with dawn's light above the jungle, the terrorist already had everyone captured and kept at gunpoint in the center of the archaeologist's camp. A man wearing a black mask came out of the helicopter and headed to the terrorist's commander, not paying any attention to the frightened hostages. I've kept my part of the agreement, so where's my pay? Relax, Commander. Here's your money. I'm keeping one of the lot. The rest are yours. I think you'll get a nice ransom for their relatives. That's none of your business. Take who you need and get lost. Now, I'm in charge here. Sure, sure. Let me ask you, though. Why haven't you tied up all the hostages? Or did you decide to let them go? No, I'm not going to let anyone go. They've got nowhere to run. There is a dangerous jungle all around. I'll give them some freedom of movement, but if just one person runs away, I'm going to kill the rest. And their blood will be on the hands of their runaway. Besides, I repeat, I am not a terrorist. I am a freedom fighter. I fight for the truth and the idea. Oh yes, sure, sure. And the idea is what? To earn a living by robbery? Hey guys, bring me that old man and his goods too. Now, farewell, Commander. Good luck in your fight for freedom. The deal was made. The man in the mask's assistance, being none too gentle, grabbed Sky and took him to the helicopter.